guys, welcome back to the channel. TJ here. For this episode of Drive Time, we have Nathan's Volvo C30 T5 R design. For the aesthetics, we have OZ Racing Ultra Ligero and Michelin Pilot Sport tires. Michelin Pilot Super Sport tires. Thanks, Nathan, for allowing me to film this. I really appreciate it. It's a really nice overall great performing car turbocharged five cylinder and actually sounds really amazing and coincidentally enough it feels just like the ST did so let's go ahead and take it for a spin and I'll meet you guys inside with Nathan so we can talk about it here we go all right guys welcome back to the channel we have uh, Nathan here and uh, Thanks a lot, Nathan, for allowing me to drive the car. Oh, I appreciate it. My pleasure. Anytime. Thank you so much. All right, so 2011 Volvo C30 T5 R design. It's a mouthful, but you got it right. Good job. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about it. Uh, well, this car is pretty new to me. I picked it up probably three months ago now, uh, three and a half months. It's, I'm very new to the car. I'm very new to like the Volvo world. Okay. Uh, I had a, a 09 Honda Accord before this, which was, you know, the base four cylinder with a five speed manual which is fine gotcha and i autocrossed that which was a hilarious sight if you ever saw it nice but uh i made myself a deal that when i outgrew that car i would get myself into something a little quicker a little bit more fun and this was so this is the result it was either this or uh, a gti and i opted for the weird swedish gti <laughs> <laughs> nice and what have you done to it so far uh not much man uh this thing came with a full catless three inch turbo back exhaust and an intake and a tune. Okay. And I just put wheels and tires on it, which you mentioned earlier in the video. OZ Ultra Legeras yeah. wrapped in Michelin Pilot Super Sports, which for what I'm doing with the car, which is autocross and some weekend road trips and maybe a track day here and there, it's perfect. Doesn't need much more than that. And you recently took it to autocrossing, didn't you? Yep, first time out with the new wheels and tires. How'd that go? It went really well. You know, the one issue I have with this car is it has a lot of safety equipment in it like, yeah and it has yaw sensors and, and everything um, so like the brakes cut in sometimes on downshifts uh, excuse me the brakes cut in if you if you try to rotate the tail around so I got to figure out what fuse I have to pull or huh, okay, you know, put in a switch or something just so that way you know obviously an autocross track you want to make sure you have as much control over the car as possible right but the safety equipment which is really good on the road really impedes on that Okay, gotcha. Yeah, that's interesting. But it's all good. Still a great yeah. car to drive, though. I love it. Those PSS tires are really grippy too. They are. the The difference between those and the factory Pirellis that were on it, just miles of difference. It's really just like it's not even a comparison. One thing I did notice though, you feel every bump. Yeah, you sure do. Well, that's all right though. Makes it nice. Yeah, certainly a lot of a lot more feedback. I love the turbo noise and the turbo whistles that you get. Isn't it great? They sound so nice. You know, if oh, you back down that. to like 50, throw yeah. it in third and then just go full out, that's a good way to experience the torque. Oh, let's go ahead and do that. Yep. See that internet? I gave him <laughs> I gave him permission first. Go ahead. I'm feeling a little bit of a surge there. Yep, a little bit. Nice, a little bit. Yeah, I think I have to get that tuned out or something. But yeah, I do notice there's a little, there's a dead spot right around the foreground. Yeah, but it feels good though overall. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, man. Thank you. I will say I think the GTI that I drove, it did handle a little better. It's a little bit more communicative. Yeah. Uh, it also had a little bit more space in the back because this being a two door. Like trying to fold those seats uh, seats down when I go play gigs and fit a drum kit in here. <laughs> yeah, not it easy. Like, it seems like you can't fit a lot of stuff in that back seat, though. Nah, not really. Yeah. It's it's not huge. It works for me, but I wouldn't yeah. recommend this to anybody with like kids or right. or something bigger than one drum set at any given time. Yeah, but you know, like you, not everybody has these. Yeah, that's true. I don't really see too many of them on the road. I mean, I see the T5 models, but I don't see any uh, R designs or nothing like that. No, they weren't super common. There were not a lot of them made. Uh, and the R design, is, I think, is a bit of a misnomer, frankly. Oh, I love that rev match. Isn't that nice? So buttery smooth. Ah, oh, the shifter's great. 
I think the art design is a bit of a, a misnomer because yeah. it's not so much like people think art design, oh, it's a sports car. It's not. It's literally just a body kit and maybe some springs. Really? I think that's it. It's a body kit, a wing, and some springs and wheels. And maybe like this two tone interior. Oh, I love that. That's nice. Pulls really good. Yeah, she pulls hard. It's even better, you know, around corners. I mean, this thing's not a straight line car. Now, I love the overall feel of it. So, what's the difference between the regular C30 T5 models and the R design? Now, Besides like I said, it's really just a body kit, wheels, and springs. I think that's I think that's it. Are and the then, performance numbers the same or no? Because I'm not uh, really too familiar with this platform. Same horsepower, it's about 220. Same torque, about 220 again. Oh, okay. Uh, same transmission, engine, differential. Wow. Uh, all the control arms are the same. All the suspension geometry is exactly the same. See, this is why I say R design is a bit of a misnomer. Or actually, maybe it's perfect because it's not called R, it's called R design. Yeah. So maybe it's exactly right. Wow, okay. But Never to anyone that. who's watching this thinking that this is going to be a sports car, I think you'll be disappointed. But if you go into this like, I want a comfortable, fun Grand Tourer and not do any suspension work, yeah, you'll be really happy. Oh, good. So I'll need to do like a sway bar and a strut tower brace in the back. Yeah. And maybe some shocks. I won't lower That'll it. That'll do it. Because I'm in Chicago. And, well, <laughs> yeah, you, know, that. <laughs> you understand. Yeah, you'll, you've been there. <laughs> tear out the whole underside of your car. Exactly. That. That's nonsense. So what are your plans with the car and what kind of mods do you plan on putting on it? Uh, strut tower brace, sway bar, maybe some shocks. Yeah. I'm going to leave the performance alone. It makes about 240, 245 horsepower at the wheels and 300-ish okay. torque. So plenty for my needs. Nice. Um, I might do harnesses or harness, singular, for this, the driver's seat to hold okay. me in better. Other than that, man, I'm just going to drive the shit out of it. <laughs> there you go. That's what I, I love this car. Doing. Yeah, it's nice and nibble. It very much reminds me of my ST, uh, like the clutch pedal feel. For those of you guys that drive the ST, if you guys get a chance to drive in a C30 T5 R design, I would highly recommend it because it feels just like the ST. Um, the transmission, I feel like the stick shift is a lot more, more smoother. It just feels like butter going in and out of the gears. But the clutch pedal is like right on point. Oh, it's it's great. You know, you were absolutely right to say that the uh, the assist spring once that finally goes out, you'll like it a lot better. And it, it, oh yeah, I do like it a lot better. Yeah. The, the one thing I really enjoy about this car is its ability to just comfortably cruise. Yeah. Which I I enjoyed driving your ST when I got the chance, but I always felt like the one area it lacked on. You just watch this. Looks like there's something in the middle of the road here. Oh, yeah. uh, the one thing I felt it lacked on was like just comfort in general. And True. that's where this thing wins is like these seats are like freaking pillows. They're oh, yeah. awesome. And then, you know, you get the Dyn Audio with Dolby surround sound, ProLogic, and perfect aircon and heated seats. And like, it's it's just the, the business for a road trip, man. It's Absolutely. Awesome. We're going to see if we can get some sort of exhaust noise. I'm not going to launch her or nothing. I'm not going to launch her baby. All right. That's this great. was right here or one of these spots. Remember, I had my ST and I drove you on it. Oh yeah. If you guys haven't seen that video where this Focus ST moves, I'll put it down in the description so you guys can check that out. But I didn't want to, I didn't want to launch the car because I was just going to roast him and fucking Nathan over here. He's like, like <laughs> just, just roll into it. He's just roll into it. I'm like, yeah. All right. I'm fine. the bad influence in this relationship. <laughs> Go for it, man. gets down just fine no but it's nice because the whatever that is it might be do you have a blow-off valve on here like an aftermarket one it's not aftermarket that's the factory wastegate that you're hearing so it has no blow-off valve on no blow-off valve interesting okay yeah it makes an awful lot of noise for factory yeah i'm wondering if it's it's more than likely uh, like i'm not really too familiar with this platform but my my guess would be that it's going back through the intake box um the wastegate is just there for when the, the turbocharger like the the turbine side of it when okay. it reaches enough gas pressure where it can't push out anymore then there's a spring that opens up and allows it to come out if it's a built-in wastegate oh, okay um that see i know very little about this stuff which is why i'm glad <laughs> i hang out with tj the uh the, that little noise that wicked you're, smart <laughs> wicked smart that little push noise that you're hearing is if it's not a blow valve which i'm sure these cars come with blow valves or bypass valves or something sure um these days but that's 
if it's not a blow off valve or bypass valve, um, what's more likely happening is that when the throttle plate closes, all that boost pressure that has been built up by the turbo, this guy's going in reverse for no oh reason. Oh my God, what are you doing? Uh, so when that throttle blade closes, it, that pressure has to go somewhere. So when it's rerouted back through the turbo um, and it comes out the airbox. So that's sometimes when drift cars, they don't have, what is this guy doing? I don't know, man. Doesn't he's, have one. I think he's real confused. Yeah. Just um, pull out. One of the benefits of that is that it keeps the boost pressure going. So it's less time for the turbo to build boost when you get back on the throttle. Okay. And Noted. A lot of people confuse that with compressor surge. Um, and they always think that the air going back through the turbo spins the, turbo, the compressor wheel backwards, which is physically impossible unless there's a huge, a huge amount of force that's being put back through that. Not this turbo. Right. It's a little, I think this is a little KO4. It's not particularly yeah. big. I had a little KO3 in the ST. And I did a little bit of experimentation with that too. So we're going to try to take it on some twisties here. This is where this car wants to live. Which unfortunately, we don't have a lot of that around where we are in Illinois. No, we don't. It's all flat shit. Good for straight line cars. Now, a little fun fact for you and for the audience watching. Um, this car is geared really strangely. It's almost like it's geared for high speed race courses yeah. because it will do 70, 60, 75 in first, uh, second gear. Oh shit, really? Second gear, it'll do 60, yeah, 65 miles an hour in second gear. Yeah, biker guy, ruin all our fun. Yep. Just go around him. I'm waiting for the corner to clear up. Ah, see, this is why we wait for corners to clear up. Like I said, I'm the bad influence in this relationship. It sounds so nice. I love that growl that it has. It kind of reminds me of a VQ engine from like a uh, like an Infinity or I don't know a, if like I should be, 350. I don't know if I should be uh, flattered or insulted. <laughs> well, I, I'm still figuring that out. <laughs> I love the sound of those engines yeah. with that with an exhaust like the 350. How it has like that certain growl to it. That's that's what I love about it. I could see that, yeah, the sort of the warble it has going. Yeah. This just makes me think rally car every time I drive it fast. It does. Now that you said that, yeah, it definitely does remind me of a rally car, just the way that it sounds and yeah. handles and looks. It darts around corners really yeah. well and like this is the kind of road you want to Absolutely. drive. Like, this is not a highway car, this is a like a back roads car. It's perfect for that. And actually if you go um, I think you know probably, but if you go right and then right again. There's yeah. a really quiet road we can shred on if you want. Really? Twisties or straight? Oh, it's twisty. Oh, it's really nice. twisty. That's the only twisty one I've found around here, man. It's like every time after we, we go to Cars and Coffee, I always come out here. I love it. So does this make you miss your ST? Yeah, it does. Yeah, it sure does. I can see that. It drives so nice too, like. It's a very well cared for car. High mileage car, it's got 147,000 on the clock, but. Wow, really? Yeah, look at that, 147,000. Yeah. That's crazy. Well, I'm sure your viewers will notice the, you know, the lip that's all chipped up and the oh, side skirts the that are all yeah. chipped up and the seats that are really worn. Um, this, car is, this car has been driven and it continues to be driven, uh, but it's been dealer serviced its whole life. Oh, that's got a lot of records. That's yeah, it's a good. shitload of records. I didn't get any of them because I bought it at a right, second-hand dealer. Got here. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, so there's a left after this little hill here. Not a sharp one. You, you could have stayed in it. You would have been fine. Oh, okay. That was a drive. I wanted to make sure. Oh, yeah. Definitely good to check on that. When I'm driving other people's cars, I have a tendency to be a lot more careful. <laughs> see, and this is how own. you avoid insurance claims. Oh my god, dude. Where has this road been all my life? Right? I'm saying. It's like a perfect road to be cruising on. And then you just turn around and you do it again. Yes. And again. And again and again. <laughs> I will try to turn around up here. This is not a busy road. Not particularly. Look at that. It's wide open for us. Love that. Beautiful road. Thanks for telling me about it. Oh, absolutely. What's that coming down? That's a Z. 370Z. Mm -hmm. I love that. Sound and it, it sounds and handles really nice. It's addictive. It sure is. It is. I can see why this would be a hell of a lot of fun on corners. Oh, absolutely. Hell yes. 
so nice. Like, I, I don't want to stop driving this. I don't blame <laughs> you. Neither do I. I spend an awful lot of... Whoa, 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 whoa. That was the edge of the road. No, sorry. It's okay. <laughs> okay, all right, we're good. I spend a hell of a lot of time, a lot of my free time driving this car just because it's so much fun. You know? Yeah. Yeah, you had two tires in the dirt there, bud. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> yeah, that was... uh. That was pretty bad, my bad. That's how you know it's live, folks. <laughs> I'm gonna drive like a grandma for the rest of the trip now. Nah, I don't do that. There goes my driving privileges. Get out. Revoked. <laughs> Pull over right now. <laughs> e eject Ocito. I'm just get ejected right now. Yeah. This car can do all kind of things. <laughs> Want a seat? Oh Did shit, that's a copyright claim. WMG, don't sue us. Oh, geez, strike. There it goes, there goes the video. Yep, demonetized. I love all the noise that this thing produces. I keep saying that over and over again, but damn, that sounds so good. It's a full sensory experience. It really is. And a Volvo, of all things. You know, I oh, didn't yeah, expect no. this car to be good when I tried it out. It was at a dealership and I was like, all right, this thing's gonna be okay, I bet, but I'm sure it won't hold a candle to that a GTI. And honestly, I think it's better. If only because it's so weird. Like, you don't expect it to be fast. You right. don't expect it to handle well. You don't expect it to stop and turn as well as it does. And certainly, you don't expect it to make these kind of noises. Oh, I know. But here we are. Yeah, that's pretty insane. It's like, I can't believe it's not GTI. <laughs> in, a, in a thing, you spread it on toast and you yeah. eat it, and it's like, wow. <laughs> Comment down below if you want to see a drag race between my and Volvo and his future. <laughs> I don't know, man. I think I'd lose. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> After you tune it. Oh, yeah. After you tune it. You tune it first, and then we'll have a drag race. I will lose, but I will lose with style. <laughs> I will granny shift and not double clutch like I should. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to blow the welds on the intake. Right. And I'd have to replace all those piston rings I fried. I know, mad scientists got to rip apart the block. I don't know. We're going to have the overnight parts from uh, wherever the hell Volvo is from. Sweet. Sweden, yeah. Sweet. We're going to have the overnight parts from Sweden. Have them include some Swedish fish. 2.5, no <laughs> shit. I don't even know what the engine code is. I think it's a B25 that's in this car. I'm damned if I can remember the engine code, but... It's a two and a half liter, five cylinder turbo. That, that's nice. Much, that's all I know. Outside Sounds of that, really good. I don't know jack. Well, thanks, man. I appreciate you all letting me drive the car and letting me take it off for a spin. I really appreciate it. Oh, my pleasure, dude. If you guys have any questions for Nate, please drop it down below or hit him up on his Instagram. I will tag him in the video and also the video description. So thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Take care. Have a great day. Adios.